This is the plaintiff, Tammy. She says the defendant who is related to her fiancé owes her money for rims she paid for. That's right. She never got the rims. He has one excuse after another, and she's fed up, family or no family. She's suing for the return of her $728. This is the defendant, Jose Almeida. He says he ordered the rims for the plaintiff, told her it would take three to four weeks for them to arrive. Then, two weeks later, she calls him and tells him the deal's off, and she wants her money back. Ha! When he informed the plaintiff there'd be a cancellation fee and a restocking fee, she flipped out. And here they are. He's accused of conning a cousin. All parties, please be ready. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Tammy, you are suing Jose Almeida for $728,580 that you paid him for rims that he never delivered, and another $148 for lost wages for having to chase him to get the money. What's going on? How do you two know each other? I met Jose through his mother about a, about a year ago. I've known him because he is the cousin of my boyfriend's son. I reached out to him because, you know, he's a handy, hands-on man kind of guy. Um, I said, hey, do you know anybody where I can get, or any place where I can get some rims? He said, yes, I do. What are you looking for? He knows the kind of car I have. I told him, you know, I'm looking for basically black on chrome. He said, give me a few minutes. Let me Google some, some pictures, and I'll get, you, get back to you. I said, okay. He sent me about... I want to say six pitches of rims. I picked out the ones that I wanted. I told him which ones I wanted. I said, how much are they? He said, 580. I said, okay, that's not bad because considering rims nowadays, one goes for about two to three, maybe $400 each. I said, okay, that's, you know, fine. He said, and I'll just have to charge you $100 to, you know, balance the wheels and take off your old ones and put your new ones on. Fine, okay. I went to the bank so the next day. Where, uh, where does 580 come in? That's how much That's the four rims. That's how much rims. he quoted me for the rims. For the rims themselves. Okay, yes. so you went to the bank the next day. I went to the bank to the next day, and I got a money order for $580. Text him and said, okay, I have the money order. He texted me. He said, can you just go drop it off at the shop, which is his mother's shop that he, she owns. I said, sure, Obviously, no problem. Okay, so hold on. So the rims are being ordered through whom? Uh, eBay. Off of... But what kind of shop does your mother have? Uh, auto repair. Oh. He never told me he was going to order the rims on eBay. He told me he was going to get the rims through his friend in Quincy. Where did you get the rims? Where are the rims? Uh, well, the rims were never purchased on eBay because of the shipping fee was 200 besides the 580 So when that was said, she wanted to cancel out on the rims because she had got a use set. And once she had the use set, I told her that the rims, because the ones on eBay, she didn't no longer want, so I went to my friend in Quincy who sells car accessories. He got her a good deal on the rims. She had paid him, and then when she wanted to cancel it, that's when the okay, restock so, fee and so the cancellation fee. So let's back up a second. Yep. This whole stuff on the internet, that never happened because she didn't want to pay the shipping charge, according right. to you. And then when she gives you the money for the rims, the 580 is through your friend in Quincy. No, the, the 580 was for the rims originally off of eBay. That's what the price was quoted for. I had just looked out, you know, as a family member thing. I just took her to my friend who has... Wait, before or after eBay? After. Okay, but eBay didn't happen. So what happened to that 580? The money order, I had already cashed to purchase the wheels on eBay. Yeah, but why? If you know that there's a $200 shipping charge, well, you didn't go that far to see if there was a shipping charge? Not yet. Are because you I didn't, I didn't place the order yet. I didn't. Yeah, I know, you but know? don't you think you should know that before she goes out and gets a money order? That's why. Right, so now you, so so you had already cashed it. So then what happened? What did you do? The 580. It was about a couple weeks after, I had brought her to Quincy. So she the 580s the, in your bank account or your pocket no, 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 or your whatever. Cash, and I had gave her I right back what? to her cash. Cash. Cash is in a sentence. You had what with the cash? Five hundred eighty dollars of her cash. That was from the money order. Yes. What'd you do with it? Gave it right back to her cash. So you paid her right when the discussion of eBay is happening. You paid her five hundred and eighty dollars. That right. you happen to have what in your ear? Where did you have the five hundred and eighty dollars? No, the cash from when I actually cashed the money order. They gave me cash. 
I and had the cash. And you still had that on you? Because it was only a week later that she... And you didn't spend any of the 580 in the week? No, that's that's not what and I And it was just sitting young. in your wallet? How did that happen? Correct. She she lives in Brookline. I so don't it's care. Like, I didn't, that's the answer to where she does she live. Out, did I ask you, you know, where does she live? I asked you how you have $580 to pay her back. Because watch this. Did he hand you $580? No, he did not, Your Honor. Okay. So now I'm going to try to figure out how you mm -hmm. have... $580, burning a hole in your pocket for a solid week and don't spend a penny of it, and then you have it there to go ahead and pay her. So then you talked about your friend in Quincy. What happened with that? We had went over there. She has the cash, the $580 okay. so cash. So you go over to Quincy. Towards the rims. So he ended up finding a set of wheels for around the same price. He told her it would be three to four weeks before because it was a special order for the, the vehicle she has. No problem. Two weeks after that was purchased, oh, I don't want the wheels. I found them cheaper. Okay, so now I need evidence of what you just said. That she, w did you go to uh, the place in Quincy? I don't even, didn't even know where he ordered the rims from. When I went to Bridgewater Police to track him down because he has multiple addresses, he doesn't have a steady address. Okay, that's went, a question. That's went, the answer to what's a steady address. I went My, to Bridgewater Did you Police. go to Quincy to the place he's talking? I don't even know where he was go going Is to order Is that a no? Them. No, I did not. You never no. went to this other place. I didn't even know place. the name of the place he was ordering them because I texted him and I said, Jose, give me the name and the number of the place you ordered the rims from to eliminate you from this from this Sure. Problem. Well, I gotta, I, I'll do you one better. Just give me proof the rims were ordered at the other place. I spoke to the Wait, owner no, of just, the store. And? He has not seen Jose since 2016 when Jose purchased a pair of headlights and a warranty for a car. Because when I called the store, because he told the Bridgewater police officer when he answered the phone, he can answer the phone for a Bridgewater police officer, but he can't answer my text messages. He told the Bridgewater police officer, oh, I gave her the money back, and she went to um, Quincy. Okay, I called Quincy and spoke to the guy that answered the phone. I'm guessing he's an associate. I asked him, I said, do you know a customer by the name of Jose Almeida? He's typing in the computer, Jose Almeida's name. I'm on my work phone, because I work. And I'm asking the guy, I said, can you tell me if Jose Almeida ordered a pair of rims, black and chrome, for a 2017 Ford Fusion? Before I can even get my phone out of my bag, he's reading me Jose Almeida's phone number. I looked at my phone, I said, yeah, that's his phone number. He said, oh, then the owner got on the phone. I'm not going to say the owner's name. The owner said, Jose has not been in the store since 2016 okay. when he purchased a pair of Prove to me, because that's your friend kit. in Quincy. So now I'm going to need you to prove to me that she handed your friend in Quincy cash and has some transaction with him. Well, she has the receipt because I, yeah, but the he's cash. A, okay, you need to slow your roll. I've been doing this without you my whole life. I got you. I, I understand. I got I'm, you. This is your friend, so Correct. you could get a copy of the receipt, particularly if you're innocent of stealing her money, because you know she's accusing you of stealing your money. You know that she is the, uh, she's gonna be family one day, apparently, with your cousin who uh, is her future stepson or something. And um, I would imagine that you don't want to look like a piece of garbage, right? Because Correct. that would be terrible. So. All I need, my needs are so simple. I just need you to prove a single thing coming out of your mouth. I didn't have to bring any paperwork because I didn't have, I didn't purchase the wheels. I brought her there and oh, she purchased the wheels. Oh, but you do wheels. have to bring paperwork. So would you like me to take a recess so that you can contact the store with our staff and you can get the documentation you're asking about? Well, according to her, she had lost her receipt, and she I, didn't I'm want to take the receipt. I'm not worried about According to her, there is no receipt because it didn't happen. So since you're the one trying to convince me it happened, mm -hmm. I'm happy to take a recess and have our court staff sit with you, contact the company, and have them fax us over the, the order. Do you want to do that? I mean, <laughs> I could call them. That's fine. So if you want to do a recess, that's yeah. totally fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Take us a little recess. All rise. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So is eBay as good as uh, going into a local store and buying stuff? In my opinion, definitely not, because you can see the condition of what you want to buy. You can try it on. It's just like guessing. And Who disagrees? Who thinks eBay is as good or if not better? Anybody? 
Uh, I agree actually with Igor. Uh, I think uh, you can touch, you can ask questions. Uh, so why is eBay so popular? Uh, because it's easier. Huh? Cheap, cheaper. Most of the time it's cheaper than... Okay. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Okay. Mr. Almeida, did you, were you able to get anything? Uh, I had contacted the owner. He said that without her paper receipt, then there's no paper. Okay, and then he sent a fax or an email or something? Yes. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, why don't you read it to me? Go ahead. He says, in Jose Almeida, in order for us to find the transaction, we would need the customer's name and number. And yes, it will be a restocking fee if the wheel is a special order. Oh, and we it cannot doesn't say find if she doesn't have a receipt, we can't find it. He just needed the name and number. Did you give him the name and number? Yes, I did. And did they have anything for her? He said without the, the actual physical receipt. No, he didn't. He says, I need her name and number. And so I called him after you got that. Okay. And do you know what he said? There's nothing in her name. So. Yeah, pay this lady back her money, all right? $580, you don't get lost wages in That's a case fine. like this. $580 plus your court costs, verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. Well, the judge determines the plaintiff is right and the defendant, Mr. Almeida, you gotta pay her. What do you think? This didn't, this didn't make you look very good, you know? Everything no. you said turned out to be essentially a wrong, a lie. That's fine, at least it's over with, so that'll be it for today. Were you telling the truth or not? Tell me here now. Uh, I didn't have the paperwork in front of me, so at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'll have to pay her and keep it moving. Okay. So. All right. Good Thank enough. You. Thank you very much. You're learning the hard way. Tammy, you finally going to get some money. Yeah. Had he not lied and gave me my money, ordered my rims like he said he was going to, right. we wouldn't be in this situation. But he blatantly lied, not only to a judge, but to a police officer. No kidding. So I would never do business with him again. I would advise nobody else to do any type of business with him. Okay. Plain and simple. And at one time he was a friend of yours, right? At so one time he was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to end up being family, which it is what it is. He is still going to be. What are you going to do with him? He's not going to stop me from marrying my boyfriend. Okay. No. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Harvey? Doug, I got to tell you, the sheer panic on the defendant's face pretty much tells the whole story. She was entitled to her money. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.